Mark has 35 wins in what is now the Sprint Cup Series. All driving Fords for Jack Roush. And now you can see him putting his teammate a lap down, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And we still anticipate now with 15 laps to go, that 88 car is probably going to have to come to pit road for fuel. You know, Mark's been second five times here. And only twice has a Phoenix race been won from the pole. And only three drivers have ever won at NASCAR's top level past age 50. You know who those two guys were that won from the pole? Two of them were Jimmy Johnson and uh, Jeff Gordon, That's his right. teammates. No pressure, four seconds back. 80 on you, 70 on him. He's saying that Tony Stewart is a tenth of a second faster, but no problem. He's well back with 14 laps. You're ago. not going to catch you at a tenth a lap. No. <laughs> and, and that's the only information Mark Martin needs right now. It's just, it's just let me know the interval as we're coming to 13 laps to go. That way I can kind of pick and choose where I go by these lap cars. But I'm going to tell you what. Tony Stewart, that 14 car in Darien Grubb, I don't think we can continue to promote. What an awesome job. That was an operation that struggled so much last year, Haas CNC Racing, and here they are up there in the top five week after week with this car. It makes the owner of that company look pretty smart, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. While we've been watching Mark Martin and Tony Stewart, uh, the, the two brothers that started second and third, they are worked their way to third and fourth. Kurt Busch in the two car after having some problems with a fender rub is third. Kyle Busch, his brother, is fourth after starting with a car that wasn't very good. No, and uh, David Rudiman is in the top five again tonight, Larry, and I think it's going to help him in the points a good bit. It's going to move him up two spots to ninth if he stays there, Darrell. Yep. Oh, trouble down here. Dale Jr. in turn four, guys. And the caution is out with 12 laps to go. Okay, Mr. Crew Chief. For Junior, who's Earn led you keep. 63 that is not laps the tonight. That Alan Gustafson and Mark Martin wanted to see. No. And he races a four-second lead over Tony Stewart. So now what do you do? You take two, do you take four, do you stay out? Now let's show you what happened is the handling was going away on Dale Jr's car. This is one lap before the crash. And this is uh, on board Dale Jr. Did that car snap loose or contact was there contact? I, I believe you'll see right here oh, there's yeah. a little bit of contact. But Casey Mirror Jr. had I mean he had his hands full without any help from anybody. That's been two cars tonight a good car and a bad car. Well, here come the hounds they're hitting pit road. Steve. Mike Tony Stewart has said the same thing just help my forward bite. They discussed two tires but it looks like it's going to be four for Tony Stewart Matt. And Kerr Bush driver of the blue deuce and he just wants a slight air pressure change on the two car. So Chris, does they go for four tires? Two or four for Kyle. They waited until the last minute to make the call. It is four tires for Kyle. Dick. It's time Mark Martin's crew has got to be not only flawless, but also fast. He has the best pit stall in the place. So far, nobody has passed him. The stop almost done. There goes Gordon, but on the outside, the 18. They had a little bit of a hiccup yeah, on the left did. front, and that was just enough to cost him. And it's like then he couldn't get the car couldn't going. Couldn't get it quite uh, going fast enough. You can see right there, Steve Addington, Kyle Busch at 18 crew. They're showing where they gained two positions. Let's see how this looks at the line. I don't think, I think Mark still got the lead. Wow. Just that's close. enough. Yeah. About the length of that splitter. Yep. But if that 18 car, Larry, if he restarts like I saw him restart last night, whoops, never mind. It's a moot point. Now. I <laughs> thought when we saw Cancel. Kyle Busch squirt out from that group of cars that he might have been a little quick and NASCAR's their version of photo radar has ticketed Kyle Busch too fast exiting. I think that's really good news for Mark Martin because that car is bad fast for about five laps. And you've got to believe when Kyle Busch sees that five car he starts ooh, watering ooh, at the ooh, mouth ooh. because that's the <laughs> car he started his career in. That's right. We've got seven. Caution. 
We've got 17 cars on the lead lap. It will be a down finger restart, which means single file with lead lap cars only to the front of the pack. A caution for Dale Earnhardt Jr., who is able to continue. Now watch the race off pit road, particularly watch the 18 Ooh. as he tries to get past Stewart and, and everybody else in that last segment. Second to last segment is where Kyle Busch was over the speed limit. You know what this right here this is what Saturday night yeah. short track race is all about. <laughs> you got that right. But I don't see any team orders here. I see Ryan Newman trying to put himself in a position to win. And how better to do it than pull up behind the pace car. Yeah I don't see it. No I don't I, I'm, I don't see any team orders. Let's find out. Six laps to go. Ryan Newman in front for the first time tonight. Green flag. Mark Martin look to the inside. He's going to go to the high side though through one and two. This will be no contest. Look at how he goes off turn two. He yanks Tony Stewart by five car lengths. Hey, bud. Nice and smooth. Martin knew he had to get by. He had to get going because he couldn't he couldn't sit there and wait on Tony. Tony would eat him up if he did. And right now Ryan Newman he can't get out of the way quick enough <laughs> almost. Maybe he won't finish better than if it appeared Larry not looking good. That was a lot of laps on those tires. Sure was. I like the gamble though. Fourth place. Jimmy Johnson has fought his way into the top five. Wow. Trying, Trying to, to win, win four in a row. row. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even rehearsed. <laughs> you know what he's not that far back of the leader. Nope. Another little quick caution here with but five laps to go now traffic this traffic jam back here we oh. can see a quick caution boy Kurt Busch that too he had the rear bumper of that 11 car Denny Hamlin jacked off the ground four to go Bush alongside Hamlin you're watching from Hamlin's car this is for third Tony Stewart Dead even with Mark Martin at seven tenths of a second. That's the gap. Boy, that's it. Tony's going to be so close. You keep running like they're running, they're going to get their share of wins. Well, we're going to Talladega next week, and I got to tell you, he'd be an odds on favorite to win that race. And here and comes. This one, uh, this one isn't over with yet. No, oh, here comes Johnson. He just took fourth away from the 11 of Hamlin. Greg hey. Biffle up for fifth. That 16 cars on the move. He's going to run out of laps to get there, but he is definitely on the move. How about our buddy back there? Sam Hornish, top 10 tonight. Ninth place. Running ninth. Two to go. And Mark Martin playing catch me if you can. Well, Mark started on the pole, and we knew that sooner, you know, he's had three poles this year. We knew he's going to win a race sooner or later. This is great. Hadn't won since 2005. New team, new driver. One White more. flag in the air. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. One more. Like Mark needs to be told, nice and smooth. He's got a one second lead. He's got half a lap to go. I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be a popular win with the fans. And with the competitors, I guarantee you that. And I'm really happy for Rick Hendrick because this five car, it's been a while since it won a race, and Rick really is proud of this opportunity way that uh, got to send in Mark Hamm. Good job, Mark. Well, we had a Mark. battle for third with Kurt Busch in that two and Jimmy Johnson, but Kurt Busch prevails. I love driving your car. Thank you. <laughs> well, unbelievable, buddy. You are the man. Becomes the oldest winner here at this race. Rusty Wallace had won this race, I think, in 90 something. He was 42 years old. Mark's 50. Mark joins the pole. a very exclusive club. Harry Gamp, Morgan Shepard, Bobby Allison, and now Mark Martin, the only drivers to pass their 50th birthday and win in NASCAR Sprint Cup competition. You know what, Mike? You showed it a while ago. You know, 13th in the points after that dismal start. All that matters at, after 26 races, it doesn't matter how far behind the leader you are. Just so you're in the top burnouts 12. No burnouts for me, boys. No <laughs> burnouts for me. No burnouts for the old guy. 
And as for Ryan Newman, who was 14th when the caution came out, did not pit and restarted in the lead. 16th place at the checker.